How do you do? You know how happy I am to be on YouTube. I'll be very honest with you. I don't know if YouTube deserves a sensation like me because YouTube never accomplished nothing compared to Jackie Mason. But I'm doing this as a personal favor to people who have to listen to them. watch YouTube all the time and they accomplish nothing because most people on YouTube never mounted anything, never got anywhere in life. They mean nothing to anybody. I don't want to louse up everybody. There might be some intelligent people on YouTube, but you know how many people you have to watch and how many hours you have to waste till you find one person that makes sense or says anything worth listening to? Maybe a month, a month and a half, maybe a year, maybe, and if you pick it up at the wrong time, you might keep watching YouTube for the rest of your life and never see a person who makes sense. So you ought to thank God that I'm here. I'm not asking for money, although if you had any decency, my opinion is you would send in a few dollars and you say to yourself, thank God I met Jackie Mason. No special preparation, no special, no special awareness of all the problems of the infinite complications of this whole universe, which is more complicated now than ever before, and we are threatened more than ever before, and our lives are more in danger than ever before. Do you want a guy who could talks about nothing, says nothing, accomplish nothing? Now, would you like to look like me? Or are you happy with the way you look? <laughs> now, you could look like yourself the rest of your life. You'll never look like me if you don't do this. This is called a treadmill, and this is what makes me look better than anybody else. You know thousands of people. How come you don't know anybody who looks like this? I'll tell you why, because they're not on the treadmill like I am. Every single day I'm on the treadmill. And you're saying to yourself, what is he doing on the treadmill? I work hard and I do intense exercise. You see how fast I'm running now? Take a look. Could you run this fast? Nobody could run he like this. He is going to tell you exactly how to win this war, or how to lose the war, or what to do about the war. The fact of the matter is, she's taking more positions about this war than, than any hooker in a whore house. Every single day she was in a different position. If she took that many positions when she was in the White House, there would have been no problems with this whole marriage. This Yenta, I'm talking about uh, Rosie O'Donnell, this Yenta, who takes advantage of this country, became a star in this country, makes a fortune in this country. And because of this country, she has a right to say whatever she pleases and attacks America every day. This is what she does with the freedom that we give her. Who accomplished nothing, who's a brainless, broken down Yenta. Valerie Plain is a broken down Yenta who amounts to nothing. He, she had a job in the, in the FBI and the CIA. The last job was in the CIA, where she did nothing for a living of any consequence. It made no difference to anybody if you knew she was or not, because she wasn't a covert operator. She was a meaningless yenta who was doing nothing for a living, just hanging around with a fake job. And let's force them to recognize the state of Israel or forget about it. If they don't recognize the state of Israel, we should never allow a suicide bomb into this country. And if they do it, we should do whatever we please in return. And nothing should stop Israel from fighting back to whatever extent they please to put a stop to the violence they're committing against innocent people. These are treasonous, horrible, disgusting bastards. That's what they are. Let's bury them once and for all. You, you're a phony bunch of lowlifes. You're a weightless human being, every one of you. I'm talking to the Democrats of the whole Congress of this country. This is the most shameful chapter in the history of America. I'm ashamed to think of them as citizens of this country. Now here you pay a hundred dollars for sex, you got sex. If you didn't get sex, she would go to jail. And she would go to jail just for being in that business. Now why doesn't your wife belong in jail? This girl gave you what you paid for. You never gave, there's no such thing as giving a girl a hundred dollars and hearing her say, I'm tired. Nobody ever gave a girl a hundred dollars and said to her, well, let's make love. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Nobody ever heard that. But your wife will cost you hundreds of thousands for a hundred dollars. It's definite. For hundreds of thousands, you don't know what you get. If you're Jewish, it costs you at least three hundred thousand. If you're Italian, at least let's just say fifty thousand. If you're Puerto Rican, maybe three hundred dollars. It costs you something. <laughs> you paid for this. Gun control is a fake and a fraud, and the people who fight for it are low lives and liars. They don't care about your life. They don't care if you die, as long as they prove that they are not interested in saving human life. They might be interested in it, but they don't care if it happens or not. The guy who used to be the governor of New Jersey turns out to be not only a permit, but a disgusting kind of a degenerate. To have his daughter living with him and his boyfriend. I don't have anything about the, about the fact that he's a, uh, a homosexual person. God bless him. To be a homosexual has much right. To be a homosexual is you have to be a heterosexual. He just happens to make love in a different way. Nobody says there's anything wrong with them. Psychologists say they're just as normal as anybody else. They just make love differently. Instead of making love like this, they say, listen, mister, do me a favor. Turn around. That's the whole difference. 
And if he enjoys it more turning around, it's not my business to stop him because I don't care what a person does in the privacy of his own home or in his own life. I don't care if a man is in love with a horse. I think if a person is in love with a horse and he enjoys it, it's none of my business. I mean, unless it's my horse. But if it's not my horse, I don't complain because I don't think anybody has a right to complain. If a man is in love with a chair, a piece of furniture, a cow, a table, whatever you enjoy, that's your business. He has a right to run, it's a free country, but if you vote for him, you're a moron. Then they found out that the people of America are the most over X-ray population in the world. Do you know that more people are dying from X-rays than any disease is designed to prevent? Your dentist knows how dangerous it is. Why do you think every time he puts the X-ray in your mouth, he puts it in and he says, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, and he runs like a son of a bitch. You can't find him for a week and a half. That Nazi bastard. <laughs> There's nobody lower than the dentist. The next time he tells you, put it in, it's okay. Grab him by the throat and bust him right in the mouth. Not that I want to hurt people. Paris Hilton and all these celebrities should be in jail. Once and for all, let's get rid of them and put them out of business. When you get burnt coffee in a coffee shop, you know what you say? Yeah, it's disgusting. It's burnt coffee. And you want your money back. Well, you start wondering, how the hell do they have the knife to sell this crap to you, these son of a bitches? It's yesterday's coffee. But when you get burnt coffee in Starbucks, you know what you say? Ooh. You get excited. This is a blend, a blend. And you convince yourself it's a special bean from Argentina. It's not a bean from Argentina. You're a schmuck from New York or wherever you come from. You become a schmuck and you're buying it from a schmuck and the whole situation is a the relationship between one schmuck and another. Is that what you want to accept? If you do, you're insane. Nuts. Now, is Albert Einstein nuts and you're sane? Could you prove that? Now, could you prove that maybe I'm nuts and you're sane? How do you know that I haven't got something to say you never thought of? And maybe I happen to be more intelligent than you. And maybe if I'm not, maybe you should try to find out why not. If you're not even interested to learn about it, there's something wrong with you, and I'm telling it to you right now. And if you don't like what I'm saying, watch somebody else. I'm not making a living from you. <laughs> There's a science of dropping hard. Cigarettes in your upper left pocket. Grab your stasis and clean up and shine them with them and clear them. See you ready to rock it. Any way you walk, you're gonna make some damage, not just with your silly little vibes. You gotta look busy when you're ready to school, making sure your kicks are some shine. Jacking hard.